Hey everybody, welcome to the CEO Life today. My name is Wes Biko, as usual. And today we're taking a look, and this is my full review of a fragrance called Noir Anthracite by Tom Ford. So this is not to be confused with Noir Extreme, this is Noir Anthracite. So I did a first impressions video a few weeks ago, go check that video out. I just released it recently, however I decided to shoot the review for it to you right away. So first off, what do I think of this fragrance for those of you who want the keynotes version of this? 10 out of 10 for this fragrance. It's a woodsy, spicy, yet fresh fragrance that is incredibly masculine, uh, kind of has a bit of a muskiness to it, but I would highly recommend it as a fragrance. So first off, what kind of notes do you get from this? You have some bergamot in there, you have some spices, you have Szechuan pepper, you have sandalwood, uh, you got a bit of ginger, you got some, some floral notes, you got cedar, and you got a bit of ebony. So a lot of these notes aren't actually listed of what's actually in this fragrance, but there is a lot. Now in terms of complexity of how this smells, this does remind me quite a bit of, as I said in my first impressions, graphite. It has a weird graphite smell to it. Um, I don't know where that comes from still. It might be the ebony wood. I don't know what ebony wood smells like on its own. However, it does have some kind of graphite smell to it. Uh, not really metallic like say like a Platinum Egoist by Chanel, but it does have that distinct graphite smell to it. Uh, smells very heavily of cedar, of course, and smells to me just like you're walking through a forest and you just run into somebody who's, you know, kind of say like a lumberjack, something like that. Who's very musky, <laughs> sweating, and just has this animalic kind of smell to it. And I think that comes from the spices that are in this. Again, it's not listed what spices are in this, guys. It's hard to describe the fragrance when you don't have any of the notes officially to go off of. Aside from just the general overlying, well, it's, it's spices that are in this. But it is a nice scent. Uh, I have some sprayed on me that I've been wearing all day. And what I get from this is just this lovely, lovely, woody, masculine, typical cologne vibe that you get. Again, this reminds me so much of Crisia Uomo, as I said in my first impressions. It's a very similar fragrance, has kind of like an oak mossy tobacco smell to it. And I think that can be attributed to the woodsy notes of this mixed with this kind of ashiness that you get. And I think that ashiness goes hand in hand with the graphite, which creates this beautiful smell though. In terms of longevity, this stuff lasts. Compared to Noir Extreme, Noir Extreme didn't last a ton on me. Um, you know, I got a decent amount, but at the same time, it wasn't like it's a, say like a 24 Oud or a, uh, like a Montal Black Oud, nothing like that. This stuff on the other hand lasts a solid, let's say 12, 13 hours on me and it's projecting. I got complimented on this today. Uh, again, it does have a little bit of that curry Indian smell to this when it first is sprayed on, but after an hour or so, it's just, such a lovely scent it just to me it just smells like a musk and like i don't know just masculinity just musk in a forest that's all i can really say guys but this is a great scent go pick it up i think it's probably going to smell different to everyone's noses to me this is on my skin how it smells and on my skin this smells great go check it out guys um in terms of projection i get a good solid three four feet with it for seven or eight hours and then it goes down to you know, one foot projection for two, three more hours, and then finally it's skin scent territory, but even skin scent territory. This is good stuff. You get whiffs of it all the time. It reminds me a slight bit of Isoe Super, which I don't know if there could be Isoe Super in this. Maybe that's why people like it so much, um, or why girls and stuff like this. But I think this is great for the man who's very masculine. Maybe you wear a leather jacket. Maybe you're somebody who's kind of going out there and, you know, you work as a say a lager or something like that. I think it's a scent that's geared towards that. I think it's a scent that's not super upscale. Like say I find Noir Extreme is more suit and tie-ish, um, kind of in line with what you see Tom Ford wearing. I find this on the other hand is more urban, uh, more kind of the average Joe, let's say. And by urban, I don't mean like upper class, you know, somebody who's you know working in an office job. I don't imagine this scent on an office job person at all. I don't see that at all. Maybe on a CEO, maybe on a boss, something like that. But I don't see this on just the average, you know, white collar worker. I think this is definitely a blue collar type of scent. I think this is very masculine. I'd say probably 35 and above. I'm 21. I'm rocking this stuff because I like this a lot. Uh, 
but even that, it's just a very masculine scent, very kind of old manish, I'd say. You get you get that vibe from it, um, and it does have a slight, almost I want to say, tobacco ashiness to it that you get. But again, it smells very similar to me to Crisia Yolmo. So go check that scent out, guys, if you want to know kind of what this smells like. But again, kicked up, hard scent to describe. Haven't smelled anything like this at all. And I can't wait until some company puts out a clone of this because this stuff is great. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you soon. And again, 10 out of 10.